Hey guys, welcome again to our channel. Here today on this video, we're going to be reviewing the Madrid Marriott Auditorium Hotel and Conference Center. So again, I hope you stick around all the way to the end as we talk about this hotel review. And then make sure if you're new to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. And then if this video is interesting to you, please be sure to like this video and then make sure you comment below letting us know if this hotel is definitely a place where you will think the next to stay when you are in Madrid, or if Madrid, Spain is up the bucket list on where to travel next. So in this review today, we're going to be talking about the Marriott Hotel, and we're going to be evaluating from the aspect of accessibility. The second part is how the hotel is overall and the amenities that, that are available for their guests, um, and then restaurant, the hotel food, and then we're going to be evaluating the, the lounge access and then we're going to do a room tour for this hotel. So stick around as we go through this now. So let's talk about when you get here to the hotel. Uh, when you arrive, you'll be able to check in downstairs uh, to their check-in kiosk area. And then this is where you have the actual lobby area of the hotel. It's very beautiful and very spacious. And this is just because it's a conference center. So it's like endless areas uh, for you to be able to hang out. Uh, they also have a bar that is available right there by the lobby area. And there's also different restaurants that are available throughout the hotel itself. And when they're in full service, when there's a lot of activities happening, then all the other uh, facilities are opened up or the rooms are available because again, it's a conference center. So they are hosting a lot of events that is happening here. Next thing we are going to be talking about it is uh, just the overall amenities that they have. They actually do have a pool that is an indoor pool available here for this hotel. Um, they also have a gym that is available for their guests that you can be able to use while you uh, stay here if you're into working out. Um, so again, those are options available as far as uh, the amenities. Uh, and then I want to talk about quickly the amenity that is available for their elite members uh, only. So if you're an elite member or if you're staying in the executive floor, you can be able to access their lounge that is available uh, for their guests. Uh, in the past, the lounge used to be open the entire day, uh, but right now they've made changes to it. So you just want to make sure you uh, check with them. So right now it opens between 5.30 p.m. and it goes all the way to 10.30 p.m. Uh, that's when the lounge is available and they offer uh, snacks, uh, drinks uh, that you can actually have there and dessert. So um, again, it's something that is available only for their elite members. The next thing I want to talk about, it's uh, really just the overall uh, aspect of the hotel. Um, again, it is not located in an area that is considered a posh area, it's right by the highway. Um, so not that far from the airport as well, but uh, it's not really in a walkable area that I can just get out and start walking. So that's really the downside about the hotel itself. Um, but overall, it's a great option. Um, normally, when I look for pricing and everything else, it's always a little bit cheaper than trying to actually stay uh, in downtown Madrid. Um, again, unless you're wanting to stay in a hostel or anything that is uh, Airbnb, but I think this has always have been an option that is cheaper when it comes to uh, top hotels or Marriott hotels. Uh, the hotel itself is, is really, it's great, it's beautiful. Um, again, it's, it meets the standard of Marriott um, when it comes to uh, just the decor and everything else, the vibe that the hotel offers. And then the last part really is just uh, hotel staff. They're great, uh, People, again, all the people that I've interacted with have been great. Um, they've been able to just uh, point me out to areas where I can go or go shopping and things like that. So that's uh, really great uh, to have that interaction uh, with the staff, at least in front.
And now I want to talk about the food uh, part. So the, the, the hotel has different options. And for their breakfast right now, they're offering it at the Grand Buffet, uh, which is their main area for uh, breakfast. And they actually offer dinner there as well. Um, the food is uh, buffet style again. Lots of options that they have. Uh, they have a hot bar uh, and they also have just food throughout the area. And then uh, coffee stations are almost everywhere. Um, so that's really great when you have different options on what you want to eat. And um, however, one down thing, I really didn't enjoy much the staff down there um, for the restaurant itself. Um, maybe they're just too busy. But again, when I went there, it wasn't too busy. Um, but they were not really, not in a friendly way to check if things are okay with you or not. So that's just my downside about the restaurant itself. Guys, I'm gonna show you how my room looks like. This is a complete upgrade. So when you walk into here, there's this walkway, and then you have this mirror showing up over there. It is like an apartment. And then we're gonna go there in a second. But before you go there, you have a mini bathroom over here that just for any guests that you have over here. So. so, and then you walk over here, which is your living room area. So for the living room area, they have the sofa or the couch there with a nice decor in the back. And then you have the nice lamp there, two sitting chairs and the TV. I think this is probably a 55 inch or 60 inch TV. And then this nice, coffee table over here and then on this side here you have the working area which is the desk uh, workspace and then you have of course the kitchen mini kitchen area and then we can check what they have here they have water and drinks included there and then all the cabinet area and there's coffee area space uh, so they we have a coffee machine for espresso. So really cool area here for the living room space of this uh, suite. And then after that, you have actually the bedroom area. So it's a king bed, I think, or maybe queen, but it looks more like a king bed. Uh, and then, so there's a sitting area here, or you can also put a luggage. There's a chair as well, and nice decor with the lights. You have a phone, the phone is a little bit dated, but they also give you a plug already, a, uh, basically a converter um, that you can use if you're coming from a different country, of course. So they're mindful for that. And then the other cool part about this is you have another TV here right there for you. That is awesome. There's also a closet space that you can store things there. And uh, there's a safe here that you can actually put all your important documents and lock it so that it's safe. And then on this side here, it's more storage space. There's actually a robe give to you uh, for you to wear while you're here and then you have the bathroom over here um, so where you have actually the shower tub combo and this is typical for European hotels uh, to sink um, and then you have another stand-up shower here um, so two people can be showering at the same time 
then the toilet of course here um, this is too big for one person but I will enjoy while I'm here So after the room tour, I hope you're still interested in staying throughout the, the video here. But anyways, overall, my final thought on this is a, the hotel, it's a great hotel to stay. Um, and it's, it meets all the standards of Marriott hotels. However, uh, the one downside that I would just say is it's isolated. It's, there's not a lot of walking uh, areas. So accessibility, it's a little bit uh, on the downside in comparison to other hotels out by the city area. However, I think if you are just wanting to be close enough to the airport so you can be able to come in and, and get out, fly out, this is definitely a great hotel for you to stay. Uh, the staff, again, I, I think the front desk personnel, they were great, very attentive to all my needs and everything that I needed. And they were just friendly. They wanted to talk to me. They wanted to know who I was. It wasn't just like, eh, thanks for checking in, but they really were invested in, uh, in knowing who I was. And then also the, the shuttle service, I think is excellent. Uh, they come when they say they were gonna be there. They gave me a schedule um, to know the times that they're actually gonna be in what terminal. And they were there, uh, many, maybe one or two minutes delay, but they were there during those times that they stayed in. Um, and again, overall the rooms, it was very spacious. Uh, again, depending on where you're staying, if they would get upgrade or not. And then the other thing is um, the food was great. Overall food, excellent, no issue there again. So if you're gonna be coming to Madrid, I definitely recommend you actually stay here at this hotel. Great place to be um, overall. I definitely will recommend to my friends, you out there who are thinking about this hotel. So I hope this hotel is on your bucket list next time you visit Madrid. If you wanna stay nearby the airport, um, so hopefully it's one of your options. Again, if you are new to our channel, please be sure to subscribe here. We really do talk about travel, uh, food, and our family adventures. Again, if there's something really interests you, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that way you know when we drop a brand new video. And what I want you to do is leave me a comment below if this was a hotel that you're thinking uh, about when you come to Madrid, or if this uh, Madrid is on your uh, bucket list next place to visit, all right? Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.